Hey guys, what's up? Carlson SK here, and welcome to my Old School RuneScape Chaos Elemental Guide. Because I want to keep this guide short and sweet, I'm going to be showing you what I believe is the best, most AFK and safe method to kill the Chaos Elemental for the pet in the game. Starting off, I'm going to show you the gear. As you can see, my gear setup is rather weird. I don't think you'd bring this anywhere else except the uh, Wilderness Chaos Altar. But as you can see, this is the gear setup. If you look at our mage bonus, defense bonus that is, it's actually pretty high and that's why we're bringing full black dehyde with the Din's Bulwark to ensure that we cannot get TB'd or barraged. For our quick prayers, we're going to be using Augury. If you don't have Augury, use Mystic Might, use Protect from Magic, and use Protect Item in the event you somehow do die, but I doubt that will happen. You don't have to follow my inventory exactly, but this is what I believe to be one of the best inventory setups you can bring. You definitely want a stamina pot because this is just for escaping. You want prayer in the event that you get smited by people. You definitely want bruise for tanking as well as more restores to make up for those, you know, bruise. You want a bastion potion to make your cannon more accurate. You bring only 700 cannonballs. This will get you around 10 to 12 kills anywhere in that area. So that's a pretty good amount of kills for one trip. If you have a looting bag, bring it. If you don't, do not worry about that. You can just eat these pies and then drop the dishes and that will give you inventory space. Also, when you place the cannon, you'll have four empty inventory spaces as well already. For teleports, you have a glory. I'm bringing the royal seed pod because it's a one click a teleport. I also have the wilderness sword to get there one time because I have the hard diaries and it's to make sure I slash webs 100% of the time. Because it would take a long time to show each of the individual escapes that you can do, I'm just going to demonstrate it on the map. We are gonna be right in this area. The best escape you can possibly do is to go to the Wilderness Obelisk, click on it, and teleport to an obelisk that is below 30 Wilderness and teleport out with your Glory and or Royal Sea Pod or whatever teleport you're using. That is the best method. The absolute worst method you can use for escaping is to come to this gate and just gun it down. That will take far too long, it's the most risky, and you may even, depending on where you go, run into multi. So I highly recommend not doing that. The next method I would say that is the best is to just run west, go north, and then go into the hatchet area. If you want, you can bring a lock pick, and this will allow you to go in there and basically just be safe in there. You can box with the hatchet, and people will not be able to attack you. However, if you have a team on you, and they are in this area, and they know for a fact that people have lock picks, they might bring one themselves and break in and PJ you off that hatchet and you'll get clanned on, and it's just terrible. The last method you can do is to run west. That's why I have the Wilderness Sword. Go over to here, slash the web, teleport to Ardoin or Edgeville, or you can continue west. If you see people are over here, go to the Mage Bank, slash those webs, and go into the Mage Bank. And that is basically it. That's how you can escape. If you get TB'd, you could theoretically go in and out of the Scorpion Pit, as well as the Hatchet Place, if you had the lockpick and you're getting clanned on. But... Chances are that won't happen with the gear that we have, as well as the quick prayers. For the methods of getting to the Chaos Elemental, you can do many. You can teleport to the Wilderness Grab Teleport, which is the worst one you can do. The second worst one would be the Anacarl Teleport, due to it being such a hot PK spot. The third would be Slash the Web, come over here, and then run over to the Chaos Elemental. The two best methods you can possibly do are to use the Wilderness Sword if you have the diaries. They'll teleport you right over to the Fountain of Rune, you can run up, and it's relatively easy. The absolute best method is if you have a high construction and you have the Wilderness Obelisk in your house. You can teleport to level 50 Wilderness immediately, and you're going to be right next to the Chaos Elemental in the spot we are going to be at. With all that said and done, I think we are ready to actually go to the spot, and I'll show you the method to kill this boss, which will result in 20 plus kills per hour. When you teleport to this area or just anywhere in the wilderness, make sure you have your click here to log out button ready. You definitely want this ready in the event people are camping those teleports, especially the Anacarl one. This gate is already open, so that's kind of scary. We are here at the Chaos Elemental and these are the tiles that you're going to want to take into consideration and if you have room light, make sure to mark them. So once you arrive here, which will I probably come from this direction, you're going to run over here, put your protector mage on, because we are we're just getting here. We can't lure it from its spawn because we haven't been here for a kill yet. So you want to gain aggro on it. Make sure you eat up if you have to. Come over to this position, pop your cannon down. 
in this time because you are going to have empty spaces it can take your gear off using the the green attack that's a teleport attack so make sure you're ready for those as well there can be a green attack and i'm going to show it to you here soon when it happens there's the green attack if that comes out it will take off your gear you have to put it back on but because we have the cannon down already we can run to this position which is the exact lure spot that you use for its spawn you can drop your prayers for now until it gets over to this tree once it gets to the tree you come over to here you drop your prayers and now you're set that is what you do when you first arrive to the spot i would like to note real quick do not have your din's bulwark on block if you have it on block as you can see here the cannon is not going to work at all it will refuse to fire out of cowardice <laughs> so turn it on pummel if a pcare does come by do put it on block but until then you need to have it on pummel so your cannon can attack the chaos elemental the chaos elemental is about to spawn and i'm going to show you ideally what you are going to want to do for this so the cannon is going to automatically aggro the chaos elemental and it's going to get dragged over to you once it gets stuck in this position put protect for mage on and run over to this spot once here take your protect for mage off and you're done that is literally the entire method now the chaos elemental is in a spot where every rotation of the cannon the chaos elemental is going to get two times it's in the double hit cannon spot behind this tree you don't need to have protect mage on or any protection prayers for that matter you can reload the cannon from this position as well and even repair it so overall super safe spot all whilst your cannon is doing all this work all you have to do is look around and make sure there's no p cares you can look at your mini map for white dots. If you have the rune light plugin, once again, you can put on player names and you can have it to where they are red. So say for example, someone t uh, logs in underneath you, you will automatically be able to notice them and you can immediately log out. Because we have our protection prayers the way they are, if we do see a PK and don't log out in time, all we have to do is pop our protection prayers up, run over to the obelisk and immediately we're just safe because we have such a high magic defense and if you do happen to get tb'd chances are you will not get barraged but if you do you have all these brews all these summer pies you'll be able to tank your way well well out of the wilderness i also forgot to mention with this method you virtually use no prayer if you saw just from here to here we used one prayer point i only used so many prayer pots through this method because i was demonstrating what happened and look at that Wow, would you, would you look at that? We actually just got a Dragon Two-Hander. That is one of the rare drops from this boss. It is a 1 in 128 drop. The Dragon Pickaxe is a 1 in 256, and the pet is a 1 in 300. That's crazy. And if you look at my rune light, I've got two Dragon Two-Hand Swords and 20 kills. That is absolutely hilarious. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what is going on. 35. Two kills later, another one. This is three Dragon 2H swords and 22 kills. That's absolutely dumb. The last two tips I would like to give you is make sure you have auto retaliate off at all times. Because we are in a multi-zone, if you get attacked by a peak hair, you can get dragged out into the range of being attacked by the Chaos Elemental and the peak hair at the same time, which can be pretty dangerous. Additionally, if you are passing from here to here, and when you first arrive, if you have auto retaliate on, you will get into melee range of the Chaos Elemental and that can be pretty fatal as well. The last tip I would like to give you is make sure you have one spot open at all times. This is a not a requirement, but it's what you should do. If you can have four inventory spots open, which you should be able to because when you show up, you gotta place the cannon and the cannon takes up those four inventory spots. But the main reason why you want to do this is so you can pick up your cannon and leave whenever you want but if you are getting PK, do not do this because you can simply come back and pick up the cannon later. If you pick up the cannon and die, you are not only going to lose one cannon piece if you do not have protect uh, item on, you're also going to lose all your gear and all the supplies in your inventory, which just adds up to a lot more money than you need to lose. Additionally, as you can see in this position, from passing here to here with protect mage on, with one inventory spot open, the chaos elemental can actually shoot out that green attack on you. And if it does, that minimizes the amount of damage you have to take overall because the green attack does zero damage 100% of the time. This is how you get 20 plus kills per hour 
AFK. You can watch YouTube the entire time. I recommend watching Sync on Twitch. That's what I've been doing this whole time. So I hope you guys get your pet through this method. This is what I'm going to be doing for my pet personally. And uh, good luck on your grind. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. Subscribe, comment, like, and see you in the next one.